Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show you some example uh, simulate models that you can use to uh, integrate with uh, C. There is uh, some examples here. If you come under MATLAB examples, just do a search on C code. You can see that there is integration C++ even, which I didn't even know. Learn a new thing every day. Anyways, um, the one I'm using is this one. Um, integrating uh, external C++ into a simulant using state flow. The reason I'm choosing this is because it's easy, so I'm in my simulant right now. Um, so let me just show you how this works. Uh, I'm going to run it. Give you all the instructions on how to run it here and uh, all the other pieces. So I just want to do a quick walkthrough how this works. Okay, so I'm um, going to run it. See, is it running? Okay, there it goes. So um, we have here uh, the integration code of uh, a bunch of files, the header and the, the C file. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I just got to switch over the uh, proper um, folder. I have given that list. Scale over to it. Um, uh, documents, MATLAB, Simulink, Integrate. Okay, there we go. So let me just uh, change the directory. Oh, it's the easiest way of doing it this way. Okay, let me just uh, stop, restart the, uh, there we go, so it should be running, yeah, so it's running right now, so you can open up the, this is the uh, C++ function, so it's a simple function, you can see this C++, but it will run in the uh, MATLAB environment, Simulink environment, um, so all it's doing is calling this uh, function here this adder incrementing I believe and, and decrementing um, so there's that um, there's the header uh, so that's going to be accessible from within Simulink I'll show you how it's done um, there's also some settings that you should know about uh, let's see here So uh, this is the custom code settings. Um, okay, so the thing that you need to know about is I showed this before in the idea presentation. So we have our source files, the adder CPP header, um, the initialize. So that gets initialized and it'll initialize this function. I'm going to terminate. We'll terminate that. What about our include of our directories? So we'll use this. We'll use this. The source files and the libraries. Uh, it's good to know how to set it up. Um, I don't think there's any other settings that we need to worry about. We'll just close that, go back into the model. State flow target. I've not seen this yet, so mm, so it looks like it's all the same. Okay, so we have our configuration setters settings for the um, which essentially uh, sets a target. Uh, the language you also have to set your uh, compiler by running the setup. I think it's MEX, something like that, just to tell MATLAB where the compiler resides. Um, and of course, there's a documentation, there's some limitations. Uh, this takes a little bit, it's loading up the helper file. So we'll just 
just want to highlight um, yeah so here's the uh, documentation blah 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 um, as well as the uh, limitations as well all right so that's working just wanted to show you that uh, and the next step really is to um, try to get this working with Redis to connect into a Redis instance because if I can do that then I'm good to go um, so I guess that's the next step yeah so try to embed the uh, Redis connection in here or something like that tried it in Linux all right talk to you later so the other segment I showed uh, is uh, C++ this one is C C code let me just show you uh, what we're dealing with here um, what we're looking for is uh, integrating okay so that's the uh, C++ this one is in including C custom C code functions and structures in order to run it you'll see there's an example and a code tab to load up the model and simulate you run these commands as you can see here this is what will load up the model once you do that you should get something that looks like this now I didn't mention this in the other video um, you need to ensure you uh, enter in INF because I previously set it uh, at um, 20 or something but you just come in to, uh, to run at infinity and uh, let me show you okay let me just try running this again so it's now running uh, so what we're doing is uh, let's take a look at the code now uh, this is in the model viewer configuration we have here a header file that we have to define um, and uh, we have a uh, one uh, C function that we're going to run I'll show you that what they look like in a minute um, so don't build the model while this is running it'll just issue a warning so let's take a look at the code what the code looks like uh, so it's just really dealing with the structure, simple stuff. The other one uh, for the C file is this guy. So we're just going to do some multiplication, and that's pretty well it. Um, so uh, there's another section on running C++ from Stateflow. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Um, you know, you can look at this or at the other example, uh, second in the other segment, uh, the help files. Um, that's pretty well it. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try to run this in Linux. The thing is, I'm going to be sticking with this C function. Um, also, uh, you'll see here um, that uh, it, this is where it's running the actual C source files. And um, put this back to 20. And I'll run it. You can see the highlight gets changes to um, to blue when it's running. It's only solid blue through the state flow. As you can see here, that's how fast it is. Um, that's pretty well it. Um, so hopefully this will work. We'll test it out. Maybe I'll put uh, a little function in here called the C file. Or the, sorry, we call the, the the Redis. Hopefully this will work. Wish me luck. Hey everybody, Brian here. Uh, just uh, trying to show you uh, the custom C code with Simulink, or in this case it says Stateflow, but Simulink as well. Uh, if you come under Code uh, for Code Generation, Code Options, Code Generating Options, which is here. Make sure you've got this clicked on the create. Um, we also have some other areas that we can um, look at for traceability. Uh, I'm just going to leave it off. Um, but uh, come under options. Make sure you usually have your compiler set, your proper target. 
you can do that the right language of C. And uh, just in this case, I'm just generating code only. Also, you want to make sure that you've uh, got your diagnostic viewer um, uh, view viewable too, just to see the messages. Um, it's right here. So let me just clear this log. code, close the warning, I don't know worry about. Here's the report. Um, so here's the code for the name. Um, all our usual uh, boilerplate code for a simulate code generation. Uh, also we have um, some additional stuff. Here's your data file, I guess. Support of uh, utility files, and most of all, there's a custom function that we've been playing with. This my M function is part of that process, so it does get generated. I just want to show it to you. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, and uh, try it out in uh, Linux. See what happens. So here we are in uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux. We have the model, uh, which is here. Uh, I've changed everything uh, as the following. So basically what I had to do was to, to get the build working, um, if you come under uh, the Simulink, uh, Simulink integrated with C folder, let me just uh, pull that up. here I've included uh, this is the original my function I've also included all the Redis header high Redis the library from Redis right here so it's part of this library um, here's the function to call Redis uh, this right here this is just a test of connection so it should print something out but it doesn't. So um, basically, uh, this is where you can get the uh, source code from this right here. Um, so that seems to build okay. Uh, and the parameters for my. custom building uh, right here this is the uh, code generation so if you come under um, custom code everything's the same so I've shown before in previous segments um, the only difference is I've added the where the high lib high redis a file is for the library so you have to specifically state that or include it. Okay, so knowing that, I think you should be able to build with that tool chain that I've shown before. Let me just clear out the, uh, the diagnostic viewer. Hang on here. Uh, where's my diagnostic viewer? Let me get rid of this guy. generation so here we can now build the model co-generate it so let's see what happens here it's it is successful just so you know um, so everything's built out okay so we know that works now the key is where the uh, bin file gets created let me just pull up my uh, So that gets built 
or created here as a uh, this SF custom. It's just the name of the model, uh, which is I'm just going to name it after the simulate model. Um, so knowing that, you'd think we'd be able to run it. Um, so let's 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 do that. Um, you see, it doesn't do anything. So I don't know. I don't know um, if it should be uh, printing out the connection or making the attempt or whatnot. But um, that's clearly a little too uh, complicated to go through. Uh, as a result, uh, I don't know if this is the right way to go about um, trying out um, uh, building using this methodology of custom code and calling legacy code uh, from or C or C++ code from within Simulate um, because it should work and it doesn't so uh, the key is uh, you don't have any output either so I'll have to build out a separate um, library C library uh, and then build out code and Java code around it um, around the algorithm uh, just so you know, uh, I don't think that's the right methodology. Unless there's something missing, but uh, if I am, anyone out there could let me know. I'd be appreciated. Thanks.